Hello, my name is Russell Duckwall, inventor of Ducky's RV Cable Lubricator. This video is to show the newest model of my cable lubricator. I made some changes because it, it wouldn't work on all cable mountings. So this is my, my original one. Um, this one has the pressure port here and the fill port here. And you can see how tall it is. Well, my new model is shorter because I've found situations where the cables were mounted too close together in the wet bay and they didn't uh, allow this one when it's on there to swing. It hits the other cable and there was even one where there was three cables, one like right here. So this one couldn't be used without being modified. So this is my newest version, it's much shorter and it, uh, it, it clears the the cables that I ran into where there was three and it, it'll swing right by them. You remove this and it, it swings on there so you can thread it on on the LaSalle Bristol type. And um, this one also, as I said, the port, the pressure port is the fill port. And there's a, a tip that I want to show you. Um, when you remove the handle from either of these, but especially the Bristol, there tends to be little sharp edges on it. So, and the Bristol is right on the handle, LaSalle Bristol, if you have that type, and the Valterra is also right on the handle. So that's how you tell. Uh, the names are always there. But you take a small file or just a piece of sandpaper and just kind of smooth out the rough edges because they're, they're kind of sharp from manufacturing and you don't want to damage the seal or, or a little file. And then I take and put a little bit of, of your lube, which can be WD-40, it can be dry lube like this, a couple of my customers use. Uh, Corrosion X is very expensive, but it's an awesome lube. And um, use any of these, and then take the lubricator and put it on backwards. This is the way it goes on with this threaded on there when you're lubricating, but if you take it and put it on the rod backwards, then um, a couple of times, then it tends to kind of break in the seal. And then it goes on this way much easier because when they're new, the seal is very tight and it's kind of uh, kind of difficult to get on. So that's just one of the helpful hints. Also, I want to point out that my RV lubricator works on all LaSalle Bristol and Valterra cables. It doesn't matter whether you have a Class A or a fifth wheel or a travel trailer or any of them. As long as it has one of these cables, it will work. Um, some people have air inflators and some people and want a Schrader valve some people have air compressors that are regulated and just use a nipple for pressure but it doesn't matter as long as you have 40 psi and no more than that to put into it um, okay that's it um, I just want to say that if, if you like my videos you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see future videos. I have other videos that are more detailed on how to use it on each type of cable. Uh, there's one video that shows the whole thing from, from start to finish. And um, I also uh, want to tell you that if, if you need to contact me, uh, Russell Duckwall, you can leave messages on YouTube or rduckwall at hotmail.com. Uh, the payment method that I can take is uh, Zelle. It's a free app from any bank. You set it's set up with the bank, not with anybody else, so it's secure. Uh, the price is $25 each. $10 is a shipping inside the US. Uh, that's uh, US Postal Service, um, one to three days. So it's it's guaranteed, it's uh, insured for $50. So it's, it's the best way to do it. Uh, and that's, that's it. I just wanted to show my new my new product and hopefully this video helps somebody. Have a good night and happy camping.